ever find yourself lying in bed at night, your mind buzzing with a million thoughts, unable to catch a break? Or maybe you're caught up in a cycle of worrying about the future or dwelling on the past? Well, you're not alone. We've all been there, and today we're going to explore some practical solutions. So buckle up, hit that like button, and don't forget to smash that subscribe for more content. That's all about making life a bit simpler. Today's journey takes us into the heart of Stoicism, a philosophy that's been around for centuries, guiding people through life's twists and turns, our focus, overthinking, that relentless habit we've all struggled with at some point. You know the one, where your mind feels like a chaotic playground and finding peace seems like an impossible task. Picture this. You're trying to fall asleep, but your brain decides it's the perfect time to replay every awkward moment from the past week. Sound familiar? Trust me, you're not alone. Overthinking is the silent intruder that sneaks into our minds, causing unnecessary stress and stealing precious moments of tranquility. But fear not. Today, we're diving into the world of Stoicism to uncover 10 powerful strategies that can help you conquer this overthinking monster. We're not promising a magic fix, but we are offering practical tools inspired by the wisdom of the Stoics. Before we jump into these game-changing strategies, do us a solid hit that like button. If you're ready for some mind, soothing insights and don't forget to subscribe to join our community your support keeps us going and we're excited to share these stoic gems with you so grab a comfy seat maybe a cup of tea and let's navigate the labyrinth of overthinking together it's time to bring some stoic serenity into our lives ready let's delve into the first stoic strategy embrace the present moment have you ever caught yourself lost in thought, worrying about what might happen tomorrow or dwelling on what went wrong yesterday? We've all been there. The first stoic gem we're exploring today is about bringing our focus back to the here and now. Imagine this. You're sitting in a beautiful garden surrounded by the vibrant colors of nature. The sun is shining and a gentle breeze rustles the leaves. Sounds peaceful, right? Well, that's the essence of embracing the present moment. Stoicism teaches us that the now is all we truly have control over. By grounding ourselves in the present, we can let go of the anxiety tied to future uncertainties and past regrets. Let's break it down. The Stoics suggest that we should recognize and accept the things beyond our control. It's like trying to hold on to sand slipping through your fingers. You can't control the grains, but you can control the grains, but you can appreciate the feeling of the sand in your hand. In the same way, focusing on the present moment allows us to appreciate the richness of life without getting tangled in the web of what, ifs, and should haves. Think about it this way. You're driving a car. You have control over the steering wheel, the brakes, and the accelerator. These are your present actions, the traffic, the weather, the road conditions. Those are beyond your control. Stoicism encourages us to be excellent drivers, to focus on steering our lives in the right direction, while understanding that some things are just part of the journey. Let's delve into the second Stoic strategy, differentiate between concern and influence. Imagine you're on a ship navigating the vast sea of life. The Stoics would advise you to focus on steering your ship, the aspects you can control and to accept the currents that lie beyond your influence. This simple yet profound concept is at the core of the Stoic philosophy. To put it plainly, the Stoics urge us to differentiate between what concerns us and what we can actually influence. It's about recognizing the boundaries of our control and directing our energy toward the aspects of life where we can make a difference. Think of it as a mental filter that sifts through the noise allowing you to discern where to invest your time and emotional energy. Practical examples can shed light on this stoic concept. Picture a traffic jam. It's beyond your control. 
Getting frustrated won't miraculously clear the road, but you can control your reaction. Instead of stressing, you could use that time to listen to a podcast or enjoy a moment of solitude. The Stoics would say that letting go of the uncontrollable brings a sense of liberation. Consider another scenario, job interviews. You can prepare thoroughly, showcase your skills, and present yourself in the best light. However, you can't control the interviewer's perception or the competition. By focusing on your preparation and performance, you're aligning with the stoic wisdom of directing efforts toward what's within your influence. This strategy extends to personal relationships as well. You can't control how others perceive you or respond to your actions, but you can control your behavior and communication. The Stoics encourage us to invest in building positive connections while accepting that we can't control every nuance of a relationship. In essence, differentiating between concern and influence is about reclaiming your mental space from the unnecessary burden of worrying about things beyond your control. It's an invitation to shift focus from the uncontrollable currents to the helm of your ship, where your influence can truly make a difference. Let's dive into the third Stoic strategy. Practice mindfulness. Ever feel like your mind is a buzzing beehive, thoughts darting in all directions, making it nearly impossible to find a moment of calm? Well, you're not alone. In the realm of Stoicism, practicing mindfulness emerges as a powerful tool to tame that overactive mind. Mindfulness is about being fully present in the current moment, aware of your thoughts and surroundings without judgment. It's like pressing pause on the mental chatter and taking a breath. Stoicism recognizes the value of this practice in bringing tranquility to our otherwise hectic minds. Think of it as a mental reset button. By practicing mindfulness, we create a space between our thoughts, allowing us to respond to situations more thoughtfully rather than reacting impulsively. It's about observing our thoughts like clouds passing by, acknowledging them without getting swept away in the storm. Now, let's get practical. Mindfulness exercises don't have to be complicated. Start with a simple breathing exercise. Focus on your breath, the rise and fall of your chest, when your mind wanders, and it will gently guide it back to your breath. It's a subtle yet powerful way to anchor yourself in the present. Another effective exercise is a five senses check-in. Pause for a moment and identify five things you can see, four things you can touch, three things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can hear, two things you can taste. This exercise grounds you in the present moment, pulling you away from the chaos of overthinking. Remember, these are just starting points. The beauty of mindfulness is its adaptability. Find what works for you, whether it's a short daily meditation or a mindful walk in nature. The Stoics would applaud your effort to cultivate mindfulness as a means to conquer the noise in your mind. Let's delve into the fourth Stoic strategy. Develop a morning routine. Ever wondered why some days seem to flow smoother than others? The Stoics would argue that it starts with how you kick off your day. Developing a morning routine is like setting the stage for a well-scripted play. It brings intention and purpose to the opening act of your day. Picture this. You wake up, and instead of immediately plunging into the chaos of the day, you take a moment to breathe to set your intentions for the hours ahead. This simple act can have a profound impact on your mindset and overall well belling. The Stoics believe that the way we start our day influences how we navigate challenges. By deliberately crafting a morning routine, we infuse our day with a sense of purpose. It's not about a rigid schedule. It's about setting the tone for a day guided by intention, rather than reaction. Now, let's talk benefits. A Stoic-inspired morning routine can provide a mental shield against the storms of overthinking. It allows you to ground yourself before the world attempts to pull you in different directions. Imagine facing the day with a clear mind, ready to tackle whatever comes your way. That's the power of a purposeful morning routine. 
So what could a stoic inspired morning routine look like? Start with a moment of reflection. Consider what you're grateful for and set positive intentions for the day. Incorporate some light stretching or exercise to invigorate your body. Read a passage from a stoic philosopher to stimulate your mind with timeless wisdom. Remember, it's not about fitting a specific mold, but about creating a routine that aligns with your values and brings a sense of calm. The Stoics would encourage you to make it your own. Let's explore the fifth Stoic strategy. Cultivate gratitude. Ever feel like life is a constant hustle and you're stuck on a hamster wheel chasing after the next big thing? Stoicism introduces the transformative power of gratitude, a simple yet profound concept that can shift our focus from what's lacking to appreciating what we already have. In the Stoic philosophy, gratitude is not just a fleeting emotion. It's a way of life. It's about acknowledging the abundance that surrounds us, even in the simplest aspects of our existence. So why is this so important in the quest to conquer overthinking? Consider this. When we train our minds to appreciate the present, to find joy in the small moments, the noise of overthinking tends to fade into the background. Gratitude becomes a shield against the constant desire for more or the anxiety of potential loss. It's a powerful antidote to the poison of overthinking. Now, let's talk about incorporating gratitude into our daily lives. It doesn't require grand gestures or life, altering changes. Start small. Begin your day by acknowledging three things you're grateful for. It could be the warmth of the sun, the aroma of your morning coffee, or the support of loved ones. The key is to make it a daily practice, a moment of reflection that sets a positive tone for your day. Expressing gratitude to others is another stoic, inspired practice. Take time to thank someone for their kindness or let a friend know you appreciate them. It not only uplifts their spirits, but also reinforces your connection with the positive aspects of life. Gratitude journaling is a popular method among Stoics. At the end of each day, jot down a few things you're thankful for. This simple act of recording your blessings can gradually shift your mindset towards a more optimistic perspective. Let's delve into the sixth Stoic strategy. Reflect on impermanence. Life is a constant dance of change. The Stoics understood this well. Reflecting on impermanence is like tuning into the rhythm of this dance acknowledging that nothing in life is permanent. It's a perspective that, rather than causing anxiety, can become a source of comfort in the face of overthinking. Imagine standing by a riverbank, watching the water flow. The Stoics would ask us to see our thoughts and worries like the river, ever changing, never stagnant. This recognition of impermanence is not about dismissing the importance of our experiences, but about understanding that everything both good and bad, is in a state of flux. So, how does this perspective ease overthinking? Consider a challenging situation that's causing you stress. Reflecting on impermanence allows you to view it as a passing moment rather than an eternal struggle. It encourages you to ride the waves of difficulty knowing that they will eventually lead to calmer waters the Stoics teach us that our thoughts and emotions, much like the seasons, come and go. The more we embrace this truth, the less power overthinking has over us. It's a shift from seeing problems as insurmountable mountains to recognizing them as temporary hills on our life's journey. Practically, integrating this Stoic idea into your daily life involves taking a step back during moments of stress. Ask yourself, how important will this be in a month, a year? Recognizing the impermanence of the situation can provide a valuable perspective, helping you navigate through challenges with greater ease. Let's explore the seventh Stoic strategy. Set realistic expectations. Have you ever felt the weight of expectations pressing down on you, making every task seem like a colossal mountain to climb? The Stoics would nod knowingly, emphasizing the importance of setting expectations that are not just realistic, 
but also achievable. Setting realistic expectations is like plotting a course that aligns with your abilities and circumstances. It's not about lowering the bar, but about finding a balance that allows for steady progress. When expectations are out of sync with reality, the stage is set for a theatrical performance of overthinking. Consider this scenario. You set a goal to accomplish a massive project in an impossibly short time. As the deadline approaches, stress builds and your mind becomes a battleground of doubts and worries. This, my friend, is the breeding ground for overthinking. The Stoics encourage us to take a step back and assess our expectations. Are they in line with our capabilities? Are they considerate of unforeseen challenges? By embracing a realistic mindset, we not only set ourselves up for success, but also create mental space for innovation and problem. Unrealistic expectations act as fuel for the overthinking engine. They lead us into a maze of what? Ifs and should, haves, it's like running on a treadmill, exerting on a treadmill, exerting effort but getting nowhere. The Stoics would argue that this mental treadmill can be avoided by approaching our goals with a clear understanding of our limitations and the inherent uncertainties of life. Let's explore the eighth Stoic strategy, limit information overload. In today's digital age, information bombards us from all directions, akin to a never-ending stream of data flowing through our minds. The Stoics, with their timeless wisdom, recognized the potential pitfalls of this information overload and suggested that it's crucial to set boundaries to protect our mental well-being. Think of your mind as a sponge. It can only absorb so much before it becomes saturated. Excessive information, much like pouring water onto an already soaked sponge, can lead to a mental saturation point where clarity and focus drown in the noise. The impact of information overload on the mind is profound. It can contribute to overthinking by creating a constant buzz of thoughts, making it challenging to discern the essential from the trivial. The Stoics would caution against the illusion that more information always equates to better decision-making or a deeper understanding of the world. So, how can we navigate this sea of information without drowning in it? The Stoic solution lies in deliberate and mindful information consumption. Start by setting boundaries. Be intentional about the sources you engage with and the time you dedicate to information intake. Consider adopting a less is more approach. Instead of mindlessly scrolling through an endless news feed, choose specific times to catch up on updates. Be selective about the content you allow into your mental space, opting for quality over quantity. Embrace the power of focus. The Stoics believed in the value of concentrated attention on a few essential things rather than a scattered focus on everything. This not only helps in managing information overload, but also fosters a more contemplative and intentional approach to life. Let's explore the ninth Stoic strategy. Practice self-compassion. Life can be a challenging journey, and the Stoics recognize the importance of being kind to oneself along the way. This concept of self-compassion involves treating yourself with the same warmth and understanding that you might offer to a dear friend. Consider this. When faced with difficulties, our natural inclination is often to be tough on ourselves, to set high expectations and criticize perceived shortcomings. The Stoics, however, will invite us to reframe this narrative. Recognizing that self-compassion is not a sign of weakness, but a source of strength. So what does it mean to practice self-compassion in the Stoic sense? It involves acknowledging your humanity, understanding that you, like everyone else, are a work in progress. It's about embracing your imperfections with a gentle understanding rather than harsh judgment. In the realm of conquering overthinking, self-compassion acts as a soothing balm. When your mind starts spiraling into self-doubt or dwelling on past mistakes, self-compassion gently guides you towards a more forgiving perspective. It's a reminder that everyone stumbles and it's okay not to have it all figured out. Now, 
let's talk about practical ways to cultivate self-compassion. Start by being mindful of your self-talk. When faced with a challenge, imagine what you might say to a friend in a similar situation. Extend that same kindness to yourself. Take breaks when needed. The Stoics understood the importance of rest and reflection. In the midst of a busy life, allowing yourself moments of pause is an act of self-compassion. It's giving yourself the space to breathe and recharge. Celebrate your victories no matter how small. The Stoics would applaud the acknowledgement of progress. Each step forward, no matter how modest, is a testament to your resilience and deserves recognition. Let's explore the tenth and final Stoic strategy. Use the 5x5 rule. Imagine your mind as a garden, and thoughts are the seeds. Some seeds grow into beautiful flowers, while others may sprout into weeds, causing unnecessary mental clutter. The Stoics, masters of practical wisdom, introduce the 5x5 rule as a way to tend to this mental garden. So what's the 5x5 rule all about? It's a simple but powerful concept that involves questioning the significance of your worries in the grand scheme of things, specifically in a five-year time frame. The Stoics would encourage us to take a step back and evaluate whether the current concern consuming our thoughts will hold the same weight and importance half a decade from now. Illustrating this rule involves considering a worry that's currently occupying your mind. Now, project yourself five years into the future. Will this worry still have the same impact on your life? The Stoics believed that many of our concerns, when viewed through this lens, lose their power and urgency. Let's break it down with an example. Say you're stressing about a presentation at work. Applying the 5x5 rule prompts you to ask, will this presentation matter in five years? In most cases, the answer is no. This realization helps in shifting your focus from excessive worry to present action. It's about recognizing that the temporary discomfort of a challenging moment is just that, temporary. This rule acts as a mental filter allowing you to prioritize your thoughts. Instead of getting entangled in the minutiae of day-to-day -day stressors, the 5x5 rule encourages a broader perspective. It's a tool that helps in distinguishing between what's genuinely significant in the long run and what's merely a passing cloud. We wrap up our journey through these stoic strategies. Consider adopting the 5x5 rule into your mental tool. In wrapping up our exploration of these 10 Stoic strategies, let's take a moment to recap the key insights that can bring about a positive transformation in your daily life. From embracing the present moment to cultivating gratitude, the Stoic wisdom imparts a timeless guide for conquering overthinking, reflecting on impermanence, setting realistic expectations, and practicing self-compassion emerge as pillars of resilience. The 5x5 rule serves as a powerful tool for prioritizing thoughts and maintaining a broader perspective. As we journeyed through these strategies, the underlying theme remained clear. Simplicity. The Stoics encourage us to simplify our thoughts, to navigate life's complexities with grace, and to find peace amidst the chaos. Now here's the challenge for you. Implement these practices in your life. Take a step towards embracing the present, expressing gratitude, and setting achievable goals. Make self-compassion a daily habit and use the 5x5 rule to gain clarity on your worries. Remember, these strategies are not just theoretical concepts. They're practical tools waiting to be wielded in your day, today existence. If you found these insights valuable, don't forget to hit that like button. It's a simple way of showing your support. And of course, subscribe to join our community. Your engagement keeps the conversation alive, and we'd love to have you on board for more enriching content. Lastly, we're curious to hear from you. Share your thoughts on these stoic strategies, or perhaps you have additional practices that have worked wonders in your life. Drop your comments below, 
and let's build a collective space for wisdom and growth. Thank you for being a part of this journey and stay tuned for more empowering content ahead.